Dijkstra algorithm comes under greedy technique. It is used to find single source shortest path. First of all, the definition of shortest path problem goes like this. Given a connected directed graph G with non-negative weights on the edges and a root vertex R, find for each vertex X a directed path P of X from R to X so that the sum of the weights on the edges in the path P of X is as small as possible. We will be given a graph and a source vertex in the graph. We should find the shortest path from the source to all vertices in the given graph. Dijkstra algorithm has two stages. First one, a greedy algorithm computes the shortest distance from source to all other nodes in the graph and saves in data structure. The second part is, it uses the data structure for finding the shortest path from source to any vertex V. At each step and for each vertex X, we need to keep track of the distance D of X and a directed path P of X from root to vertex X of length DX. Start scanning from the root and take initial paths P of R comma X is equal to R comma X. D of X will be W of Rx if Rx is an edge, infinity if Rx is not an edge. For each temporary vertex Y distinct from X, set D of Y is equal to minimum of D of Y comma D of X plus W of XY. This is the algorithm. Consider this example graph. We need to find the single source shortest path with source A. To start with, the tree vertex is A. From A, the shortest distance you can reach is to B with weight 3. So from A, go to B. Now we are at B. These are the remaining vertices. From B, you can reach C and D. You can't reach E yet. We should always remember that we are seeing the shortest path from the source A. So from A, I have already come to B. The next shortest path is for the node D with weight 2. So from B, I can go to D with value 2. You can see here there are two ways of reaching to D. One was 3 plus 2. The other one was 7. So I need to always find the shortest path. So that's why I have considered this root 3 plus 2. Now we are at D. The remaining vertices are C and E. From A, I have come to B and I have visited D also. Which is the next node that I can visit with shortest path among these two? C is the next node that I can reach with shortest path. I will be reaching C via B. So B to C with value 4. Now we have covered the vertex C. The remaining vertex is E. If I consider reaching E via C, it will be 3 plus 4 plus 6 from the root node A. That is 13. If I consider reaching E via D, it will be 3 plus 2 plus 4, that is 9. So from D to E, we can get the shortest path. From D, go to E with value 4. Now we have covered the vertex E also. The final list of shortest paths are like this. From A to B, the length is 3. From A to D, the shortest path is via B, A, B, D, it will be 5. From A to C, the shortest path is via B, A, B, C, it will be 7. From A to E, the shortest path is via B and D. The path is A, B, D, E and the length is 9. So this was an application of Dijkstra algorithm. To summarize, the Dijkstra algorithm finds the shortest path from the source to a vertex nearest to it, then to a second nearest and so on.
This algorithm is applicable to undirected and directed graphs with non-additive weights only.